back with Alex and and Adele in the sewers underneath Shepherd's Glen. We're back at it in Silent Hill Homecoming. We're in the sewers. Here's the map of the sewers. Uh, you know, it doesn't really give much of indication of where we need to go, but I believe we're heading towards the main drain chamber in the upper right. So that's the direction we, we have to get to. Last time, we emptied this. <coughs> Alex could have used the ladder, but he needed to impress L. All right, so we escaped the, uh, the, the police station. And we don't know what happened to Wheeler. We, we're hoping he's okay. Now we're just trying to find a way to get back up to the surface and not get attacked by monsters. And that's just basically what this chapter of the story is right now. And also finding some items, as, as we do. How's my health doing? Health's alright. Oh, and also last time we learned some information about Elle. We learned that her sister Nora is one of the people who have gone missing from the town of Shepherd's Glen. Where, where are these people going? Why are they vanishing? Alex, there's another gate here I can open. Go back the way we came in and I'll let you through. Now Elle's vanishing. She's going off that way because we can't get through the number eight gate. So she said go back around to where we started. So if we're looking at the map here, uh, it's next to gate four. We're at gate eight. We have to go back around to gate four because there is no, there's no valve on the other side of this. Uh, oh, hello. Could barely see the animation in the darkness of this sewer. By the way, uh, Alex's flashlight is on. The flashlight, fairly in ineffective in some of these places. That's... that's a dead end. That's not... that's nothing. So, Alex discovering that his problem with Josh missing, that is not just a one-off thing. That is like an indicative of a larger issue in Shepherd's Glen, where the population has been vanishing. So maybe if we find out where everyone went, we'll find Josh. Even though we've already found Josh. He's in, he's in Silent Hill. We saw him in the hotel. Is it weird that Alex's dialogue seems like he's not acknowledging that? Like he asks people, where is Josh? Do you know where Josh is? Mayor Bartlett, you're... Your son was friends with Josh. Maybe he maybe he knows where Josh is. Maybe I'm nitpicking. But I feel like Alex's mindset at this point should change to change from where is Josh? 
Two, I have found Josh. Something strange about Josh. Alright. L made it. Hmm? Oh. You know, we have plenty of weapons. We could, like, give L something. Wait, I'll, I'm sorry. She was not a soldier. She's not trained in combat. You know, when I've when I've played through some Silent Hill games in the past, I might talk about what the enemies symbolize and what they represent. I haven't been talking about that really in this game because who cares? Not to be too blunt about it. Yes, that that one particular enemy is like a guy with his head coming out of his ass and his his hands and his legs are knives and he walks on all fours that's his that's his character design and if you want to believe that that is symbol symbolic of something you go right ahead Getting double teamed. <laughs> uh, this is where we came in. Got turned around. That opens up that door. I mean, I got to do the executions every time, don't I? What's the point of having glory kills if I'm not going to use them? Alright, so we're heading from the drop down to the main drain chamber. To the upper right. We can see some daylight. Oh no! Well, I guess we'll just have to wait here.
Now, when you're fighting multiple enemies, it may seem overwhelming, but they tend to only attack one at a time. Like, they really... They f usually don't... They usually don't, like, gang up on you. You can see that other one is not doing anything. Let's see, okay, he actually did get in- oh no, he's stunned. That guy's stunned. Alright, so the other one got involved when... Hold on, that serum- did I, did I just select the serum? I did, oh, I did, okay. So that's something that happens sometimes. I don't actually know what I'm doing. So I selected the serum and I was unable to unselect it. And so when I went out of the inventory, it was used. I don't... I don't actually know... how that works. I like how they just do, like, a little slide with that execution kill. Oh no, what happened to L? Let me get out my shotgun. We could try to dodge around him. Ja just shoot him with the shotgun three times in the face. Just do that. Oh no, well, there's a blood stain in front of us, but I gotta go look for extras. See right here? It's a bunch of Josh's photos! How'd it get here? It's Nora Holloway sitting on the town hall steps. Caption says, Nora is always reading that book. She likes the caterpillar. I like the cat. And then she's reading Alice in Wonderland. So Nora is Elle's sister. Nora is one of the people who, who vanished. And apparently Josh was friends with Nora. What the hell happened here? Where's Elle? Oh god, that's Elle's radio. There's so much blood everywhere. Could she have survived this? I have to find her. I hope this isn't Elle's blood. I'll be examining this. It is a lot of blood. Swarms sometimes hover in front of you before attacking. That is the perfect time for a melee strike, if I'm being honest. Look where we are. We're back home. How's mom doing? What? Barbed wire on my front door? Where'd it come from? I've got to find another way inside. Okay, we can't go back in our house. And also because, uh... Because this is in the way, we can't walk around to the backyard. See, I told you. I told you this is just a bad choice to hang this swing across the, the entire thing like this. You can't walk around it. Can't easily get to the backyard. All right. What are we doing right now? What's our objective? I don't have any. <laughs> Alex doesn't know what he's doing. Yes, that's correct. We're out of the sewers. L's gone. We can't go to our house. W what are we doing? I guess we're just gonna wander around a little bit. Alex, Alex, come in. Are you there? Wheeler, are you all right? Hey, I've been better, but I'm okay. Did you find L? Oh uh, yeah, but we got separated. I'm looking for her now. Where are you? I'm just now leaving the station to find Fitch. Look, we need to stick together. Meet me at his office. Maybe he knows where L is. 
Okay, I'll meet you there. God, I hope Bell's okay. All right, well, now we have an objective. Wheeler is alive, and he's saying, let's go, let's go to Doc Fitch's office. Now, uh, the Fitches is one of the founding families. Uh, that's something that's come up, an important part of the story, four founding families. The, uh, the Shepherds, the Holloways, um, the Bartlett's, the only ones we have, the only family members we haven't seen yet are the Fitch family. And uh, we're going to go to Doc Fitch's office, see if he knows what's going on. These dogs are very aggressive. But, I mean, we're not, it's fine. I'm just taking my dogs for a walk. They're very friendly. They don't know their own strength. See? Don't, don't I mean, don't get... They look scary, I know. They're really just bundles of love. Hey. Excuse me. Sir. Hey, you. Dr. Fitch? What do you want? Are you alright? Whose blood is that? What have you done? S stay away from me! Well, that's convenient. The dogs were very polite to have waited. Alright, Doc Fitch is right here. And we're going into his office. Much like everything else in Shepherd's Glen. This table is covered in dust. Looks like no one's used it for a long time. Yeah, everything has fallen into disrepair. This this table, right? This is not a table, but it's covered in dust. So, look. I know sometimes I nitpick. The TV that's up on the ceiling has dials. How would you change the channel? You're gonna get a- is it gonna get a footstool? Stand on that every time you want to change the channel? Is that what you're gonna do? Hey, she may look clean, but pick up good time girls, prostitutes, spread syphilis, and gonorrhea. Oh no, not my good time girls! Here I thought they were clean. It's a painting of a lake. Diphtheria strikes unprotected children. Protect your child with Toxoid. Toxoid prevents diphtheria. This seems... What... What era would you say a poster like this is from? This seems a little dated. These posters. I mean, Shepherd's Glen is supposed to be... Have been a functioning town until recently. Ooh, Southeastern University. Upon the recommendation of the faculty of the School of Medicine and by the virtue of the authority vested in them, by the Congress of the United States, the Board of Trustees of Southeastern University, has conferred upon Martin Fitch, Medicine Doctor, together with all honors, rights, privileges thereto pertaining, in recognition of all requirements for this degree. Yep, he's a legitimate doctor. Box broken. So yeah, the uh, the four founding families, they all have positions of some kind of power in the town. Uh, Alex's dad was the sheriff. Judge Holloway is, well, the town judge. Uh, mayor Bartlett was the mayor. He's dead now. And Doc Fitch is the town doctor. Scarlet Fitch in her bedroom with all of her dolls. Uh, the caption says, Scarlet never comes out to play. She just plays with her stupid dolls all the time. Looks like Josh was not a fan of these dolls. But as we can see, um, 
ballet. She just likes ballet. We can see Doc Fitch has a daughter. Scarlet, who loves dolls. A little girl's dresser. Why would Dr. Fitch put all this stuff in here? Like, what stuff? A lamp and a doll? And like, a, a box, but... It's not that weird. Okay, Scarlet likes dolls. She likes ballet. She likes a big teddy bear. Record player, some drawings. All right, nothing else in here though. Oh, it's it's the doc's nurses. Hello, everyone. There's quite a few. I will say that the lighting is pretty good in some scenes, like when you walk out of this door and then you see the nurses standing here. The lighting here is pretty good. Okay, what were they protecting in this room? Well, a serum. I good, I just used one. I could use another. It's a little, little old for a doctor's office, isn't it? I guess Dr. Fitch likes uh, some traditional materials. Inherited syphilis. A man may transmit syphilis to his children. His children's children may pay the penalty of his mistake. Well, that's done, did a number on that kid's face. I got the small key. Dear Mr. Fitch, I was so disappointed that you missed our appointment last Thursday. This is the third time in a month that you've not appeared at the allotted time. I implore you to reschedule as soon as you can. We've made such progress over the past few months. I can't stress how important it is that we maintain regular contact to ensure a speedy recovery. I look forward to seeing you soon. Sincerely, Dr. Slater, Chief Resident Psychiatric Department, Alcamilla Hospital. This is a, a little odd. For a couple reasons. One, I guess Doc Fitch was receiving psych psychiatric care. Two, the letter refers to him as Mr. Fitch. Three, Alcamilla Hospital is in Silent Hill. And we've seen Silent Hill. It's not like a functional town. How old is this letter? I got the small key. A key that looks like it goes to a small case. I found a small case. Right here. Let's open it up. That's the second time that's happened to Alex. The first time was when he pulled that watch out of that grave.
Starlet's doll. Where did the box, Alex? We just pulled out of the box. We got the doll. This must be Scarlet's favorite doll. It looks like it's seen better days. I guess we're just gonna take it. Last thing I remember is getting the doll from this case. What's so special about that porcelain doll anyway? We don't know. Painting changed. This used to look like a ballerina. a little girl's doll. Well, I came in this way. What the hell? This wasn't blocked off just a minute ago. Wait, hold on. Hold on one second. Something's not right about this. This has not changed. It looks like it's burned, but it's that that's still what that looked like. The power of ballet, the lasting power. Well, there's a door here that was not there before. So I guess this is where we're going. Josh, you fuck. I'm gonna walk very slowly towards you, Josh. Josh, stop! That is not surprising. Went to the main entrance. And we can look around. Visitor parking. It seems to go on forever. Well, Doc Fitch's uh, office clearly is much more expansive than we thought. Restricted area. Visiting hours are from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. Doesn't seem like there's anything out there in the abyss. Well, there's some pipes. You can see, like, big rusty metal pipes. Which way do we go? Once again, the stairs end. Tap A to not fall into spikes. We did it. Oh, dead end here. But we can see a floor. At the very least. Take, see if we can get a, more of a look at the environment. It's just a lot of metal. Just a whole lot of metal and pipes. Another dead end. This is where we came from. Of course, we do not have a map of this area. Let's see. Was there somewhere else we could go? Aside from, you know, nowhere. There it is. There we go. Now we finally got off those stairs. Unfortunately, it seems that this whole facility is on top of what appears to be molten metal. It seems a little dangerous.
as well as those fans. Oh, what a cute doll. Behind me? What could possibly be behind me? Oh no, it, they got me. The doll got me. You know, some people did ask if there is an execution kill for smog. And you know, I've never really tried it. Oh yeah, yeah, there is. So that was the Axe one anyway. Uh oh, we got swarms. Can't carry anymore. Yeah, I don't use guns too much. Guns sometimes, but melee weapons usually. Further down we go. Lock's broken. We're not going in there. Staff only? Well, if you just act confidently, no one will think you're not staff. Alright, don't jump in the molten metal. Oh, what's that? Kind of blinked in and out for a second. Another dead end. Stairways upon stairways upon stairways. with all the dolls! That is the weirdest thing about what's going on here. Who left them down here? I was just thinking that. These dolls are very strange. Look, if I'm concerned or have a problem, I should please talk to the staff. Violence will not be tolerated in this environment. Victims of violence will be supported in the referral of the matter to senior staff. No violence here in the Twisted Hospital. Which, I, I guess that's what this is. What, what, what with the signage. Avoid health risks. Wear gloves. We, we saw that. We saw Josh running. Oh, look who it is. All right, let's try a pipe on him. Whoop. Couldn't move for a second there. Can I get around? There we go. Nope. Smog is giving it to me. Giving me the business. Look, I just want to see what your execution kill looks like, Smog. Nothing personal. He's, he can take a lot, though. He's taking it. Oh, all right, he never got stunned. He just never got stunned. 
All right, here's one of Josh's drawings. Let's look at it. The content is basically probably what you would expect. Remember to always behave, for sins he won't abide. He wields a rusty, jagged blade to cut out your insides. You need to have you did not need to have a plural for insides. You could have just inside, it would have been fine, and would have rhymed with abide. And to criticize Josh's poetry. It's like a drill or something? Some sort of machinery. <clears throat> Further down we go. Please, keep noise to a minimum. Still goes ever further down. War 2B. We cannot enter War 2B. Down once again. <clears throat> now, there are two ways we can go. Let's see, let's try this one first. See if this is the one I want. so we can stop some of the fans. Attention nursing staff, all medications to be administered daily before 9 a.m. Okay, no, I don't want to go there yet. If I drop down, I can't go back up, and there is an item that I might as well get. Just a bag hanging in a cage. You know. No big deal. So, we still, we never found a map to this place, but our objective is to find Joshua, as it always is. That should just be there for the entire game. Let's see. Hazardous voltage. Something. No, don't, no. Didn't mean to go back up. Sorry. Sorry. He's going back up. But in, in addition to finding Josh, we're also here to find Doc Fitch, who ran into his office and we didn't find him. Alright, can shock, burn, or cause death? Keep out. If open or unlocked, immediately call electric power and light company. Don't mess around with the power. Right, this is what I wanted to find. Crowbar. So the crowbar replaces our metal pipe. It's just a, 
a more powerful version of it. It's essentially the same weapon. But we cannot go into Ward L8. So we can leave here without it. We never we don't need it. But you know, we might as well upgrade our pipe while we're here. Oh, I think that might have been him. There was a scary noise. I think it might have been the bag in this pipe. All right, now we can go that way. Now that we have our crowbar. Now we'll drop down. There we go. <coughs> hey, Josh. Of course, running away. But he left another one of his drawings for us to find. The lying little children with souls selfish and small will find their wriggling tongues cut out and nailed to his wall. And then it says, it's the Sandman got him, and him being a child trapped in some sort of large uh, mechanical cube. Just like we are at the moment. Twisty hallway going off down there, but we're not going there. Alright. Well, we'd like to go down there, but the fan is spinning. We can only go where we can go, and that's through here. We cannot go into Ward Borer either. But we can take our trusty knife. And cut a skin door. We love cutting the skin door. It's our favorite thing. Also, this door says exit. It was a lie. They got our hopes up and then dashed them expertly. And by pulling that switch, we stop that fan and stop this fan. So we go down even further. What floor are we on? Who could even say? You may be required to give a urine sample as part of your care. Please wait, if you can, until you see the doctor or nurse. All right, so at some point, Alex is going to have to give a urine sample. We'll keep that in mind. We got a puzzle on our hands now. We got some moving fans, some numbered fans, levers with numbers on them. Some fans are not moving. But over here is the exit door. But oh no, lock's broken. I cannot go through the exit door. Rather, I'm going to have to solve the mystery of the fans to get through. But before I start mis solving this mystery, let's go down here. Let's go down. There we go. Because we can get a serum. But we can't go all the way to the end of this hallway because that the number one fan is spinning. So I can't go through that. All right. Gotta turn some fans off, Some turn some on. This one says number five is on.
What if now number four is on? This one says number six is on. But now number five is on. And what if I wanted number four to turn off and number three to turn on? And I hear what you're saying. What if I wanted to turn fan number five off and turn fan number four on? And dare, dare I dream, dare I dream to turn number three off and number two on? And what if, just maybe, just maybe, I could turn fan number four off and fan number three on? And by doing that, fans four, five, and six are all turned off, letting me get to the other side of the room. We did it. We solved the fan puzzle. And we see a save point right here. Let's save. It's been a while, actually. And as the save game will let us know, the area we're in is the Hell Descent. We've been descending into Hell. No big deal. I see a Josh running away! Like, he was in the distance, it was kind of hard to see him. But Josh was totally running away back there. Hey, we finally made it to the exit. It's Doc Fitch. Does he usually just run all the way down here when he wants to be alone? It's quite a trek. Doctor, do you need some help? You're bleeding bad. Don't you touch me! I bleed out the sin, but it grows back. So I must let it out every day. Let's uh, let's be nice. I could treat a wound. I'm I'm I was in the army. I can stop the bleeding. I don't want your help. These wounds cannot heal. I I don't have much of a singing voice. What are you doing here? Why did you come to this place? I come here to remind myself. It's the only place I go where she listens to me. Who listens? Who listens? Scarlet? Is she here? She's here with me now. My baby. My beautiful child. Daddy forgot to bring you a present today. She loves dollies. What happened to Scarlet? I want to ask you about Scarlet. What's happened to her? Did you mention her name? You're not as worthy as one hair on her head. All right, we'll just give you the doll.
Scarlet's doll. Where did... Daddy? Dr. Pitch, what's happening? What's going on? Forgive me. All right, it's time for our next boss, Scarlet. All right, so she's long legged, long limbed. Gonna get out a gun. So, as you might be able to tell, our goal here is to knock off her thin candy shell to get to the creamy nougat within. There we go. Whoops, I did I did not start tapping A fast enough. But that's fine. We know that she is primed and ready for some QTEs. But no, there's phase two. Since her nougat has been exposed, I can use the knife, which has its fast attacks, instead of having to break off her pieces. She went up to the ceiling. She sure did.
Oh no! We got blooded. We got imblooded. That's right. Let it all out. I've seen this symbol on the ski before. I got a founder's key. I remember seeing it in the town hall when I was a kid. Can't remember where in the building, though. I mean, we're seeing it right now. When we went in the town hall, Alex said that his dad would always yell at him when he played at that, when he played with the keyhole in the town hall. So, okay. We got the founder's key. A bronze key with a cross cut into the headpiece. Also, I guess this used to be an operating room. It doesn't, it's not really uh, decorated for that now. Yep, yeah, well. Feels like the dolls are watching us, like they're waiting for something. Well, this used to be the entrance into the Hell Descent. Not anymore. And also, this place used to have a doctor. Not anymore. Doc Fitch is dead, just like Mayor Bartlett. Killed by the boss. But what is going on? Why are these founding family members dying immediately after Alex talks to them? It's a puzzle. But, we know where we need to go. That keyhole's in the town hall. Did Wheeler say that we were going to meet at Doc Fitch's on the radio? He, he mentioned going to Doc Fitch's. I don't remember if he said he was going to show up there. I mean, he wasn't there either way. I guess next time we we meet Wheeler, we can explain to him that Doc Fitch is dead. No, we didn't kill him. We totally did not kill him. He just... He, he died right after we, we found him, just like Mayor Bartlett did. Honestly. Now, remember in the town hall there was this. We do have a weapon for it now. Or rather, I should say we have the key for it. All right, why is this boarded up? <clears throat> this is my great, 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 great grandfather, Isaac Shepard. He was one of the four founders and they named the town after him. Why isn't this on the wall? It's true. Uh, when we were first in the town hall, we, we noticed that one of the four portraits wasn't there. And it turns out that the portrait that was taken down is that of the original shepherd. But, why did they take it down? The other founder portraits are on there. Also, hey. Some, something behind there. Another one of Josh's uplifting drawings.
And if they take what is not theirs, there can be no doubt. He'll stretch their skin until it snaps, and all the blood drains out. Josh really needs some new subject matter, I think. He's really milking this for all it's worth. The whole naughty children are tortured to death by the boogeyman thing. Oh, by the way, is, uh, is Mayor Holloway still here? Sorry, Judge Holloway. Mayor Bartlett was the mayor. No, the judge is not here. She was so busy reading this book. We can't, like, ransack her desk or anything. Don't know whose office this is, but they do have the save point, so might as well save now. Save successful. Well, as Alex said, the town hall has this weird keyhole. Time for Alex to find out what it's for. That is strange. Secret town hall basement. Uh, can, can I take... There we go. But why keep this place locked up? With such a weird lock. Ladies. Right, I, I'm... Excuse me, everyone. I need... I'm here to get something. This seems curious. It has the halo of the sun on it. got the ceremonial dagger and everyone's really eager to see our cool new knife so the ceremonial dagger replaces our regular knife And it also acts as a key. As we saw, the door to Dad's hunting room does need this knife as the key, which means that since it was in here, could he just never open that door after it was put in there? Look, we're not here to think about such things. We're not here to think about these things. What we're here to think about is that we now have that key. It can go through, go to a bunch of things, actually. Some sort of strange chamber down here. And there is some lore. Let's read some lore about the founding families. This book looks ancient. The pages are all tattered. I can barely read the text. In defense of the tenants, it is necessary that one person preside over the punishments of any members who have fallen from the path... These rulings must be based on complete understanding of the laws set forth and must be executed without prejudice. The executor of law must not waive in, his, in the responsibility of enacting this power. 
he must declare his oath in public forum to uphold the ideals of the book. In God's name, so shall it be. All right, so one of the four founder fa founding families has to uphold the law. And we know that uh, the shepherds are the sheriffs, or at least the dad was. All right, this is also ancient. To continue on the path we have laid before us, it is vital that the people remember the road traveled. We must continually provide, update, and nurture accurate records of the past that cannot be challenged by outsiders. Once the lore has been handed over, the Keeper shall confine himself to an uncorrupted sanctuary. There he shall learn the history of the Founders. In God's name, so shall it be. Um, let's see. Some, uh, who would this be? Actually, uh, upholding the law, that really could either be the, the sheriff or the judge. Maybe this one's the judge? Having to learn the history of the founders? Maybe this is what the judge has. I'm not sure. Doesn't really describe a judge's job, but maybe. In pursuit of creating a more perfect way, rules must be followed and rules must be enforced. Any, members who, her, mem any member who ignores this command shall be dealt with swiftly and in view of all. This shall con ensure continued prosperity. It is therefore imperative that the effective master of arms not wave in his responsibility of enacting this power until the last day of his life. In God's name, so shall it be. Okay, Master of Arms, that would probably be the cop. So this is probably the shepherd role. And lastly, with the truth of the old believers fractured, it is essential that one person and maintain to effectuate the modern sectarian rights we have toiled so faithful, faithfully to create and protect. After taking up the mantle of this post, the performer of rites shall make a pilgrimage to the edge of the forsaken region to purify himself from the sins of the past. There he will beseech the forefathers for forgiveness and understanding in God's, in God's name, so shall it be. Hmm. Modern sectarian rites. Maybe the mayor? Not sure. But what we can see is that there are... Oh, actually, there are coats of arms, aren't there? Yeah, each of these has a coat of arms above it. I'm pretty sure the one with the swords is the Shepherd family crest. We'll see that in a bit. But anyway, a, bit, a little bit more lore for what these families do. But also what's important is that there is a keyhole right here. Where does it go? Well... We'll take a break as Alex just hangs out here in the big ceremonial room underneath the town hall as he ponders, ponders things about town history and his cool new knife and how Doc Fitch is dead in the same way that Mayor Bartlett died. Okay, so to be clear, uh, Alex found a watch that belonged to Mayor Bartlett's son. He gave the watch to Mayor Bartlett. Mayor Bartlett tossed it on the ground. The watch was absorbed into the ground. Then a big monster appeared and killed Mayor Bartlett. Alex found a doll that belonged to Doc Fitch's daughter. He gave the doll to Doc Fitch. Doc Fitch started bleeding to death. He dropped the doll on the floor. The doll was absorbed into the floor. And then a big monster appeared and killed Doc Fitch. Um, that's, it's a pretty consistent pattern so far. Uh, so two of the founding families are, at least the, the patriarchs, are now dead. Um, and Alex still doesn't know what's going on. He just wants to find his brother. He just wants to find his brother. Investigate the town hall. We've investigated it. But what he want, really wants to do is investigate... Um, I don't... I, I, I don't know. I can't really think of a way to finish that sentence. But he want, what he wants to do is find Josh. Um, he has found him many times. Josh just keeps running away. Alex doesn't seem to acknowledge this point. And, um, 
Elle might be dead. Remember what she we found that big blood stain in the sewer? And then she's gone. Where did she go? We don't know. We know Wheeler's alive. Um, and we know that we have not been able to get back into our house because there's barbed wire on the door right now. Uh, but presumably mom is still in there. Where did, uh, where did Judge Holloway go? She was in the town hall at the beginning. We haven't seen her since. She's not here now. But maybe Alex will solve some of these mysteries as we continue on. Well, we know where we were going next. Alex remembered, hey, the hunting room in the basement has the keyhole for this knife. We're going to go there and totally stick it to dad by going in that room that he doesn't want Alex to go in. He's totally going to be so peeved when he finds out Alex was in that room rifling through his stuff. Maybe we'll do that as we continue on with Silent Hill Homecoming.